In the previous episode, we've seen how to prepare for a match, how to put yourself in the best possible mindset to perform. This indeed will play a big role in the final result. But a match is a journey, a journey during which you will have two opponents, the player on the other side of the court, of course, and yourself. If you want to give yourself a chance to win the match, you'll have to first make sure you are able to beat your demons, your thoughts, your fears. You cannot beat your emotions but you can keep them under control. Actually, the only thing that you have real control on is your inner language and your attitude. By using them the right way, you get a control on your emotional state and this has a huge impact on your performance. This is nothing more than a decision that you take to start controlling the only parameters you can control during a tennis match. First of all, during a tennis match, most of the things you don't control. You don't control the conditions, you don't control how good you're gonna play today, you don't control how your opponent's gonna play and what are his strengths, weaknesses, how he's gonna potentially put you in trouble. There are a few things you can control and one of these things is how you talk to yourself. Your number one enemy is frustration and judgments that you will put on yourself and your game. Frustration is like an alien. Have you seen the movie? I'm talking about a little foreign body that gets inside of you. At the start, it's very small, but it grows and grows and ends up controlling you fully. It grows every time you think negative. Imagine a seed. All the negative thoughts help develop that seed, while positive thoughts make him weaker and can eliminate it totally. The only way to get rid of him is to avoid the negativity. And the only way to eliminate it is to talk to yourself in the right way. If you don't talk to yourself, the emptiness will be immediately filled up with negative every time you lose a point. When you speak to yourself, make sure you put the words, the intonation, but also the body language that will come with it. You need to believe in what you're saying, and that is why it's so important to say it with all your body and your conviction. Hold yourself straight, look like a winner. You can choose to say it in your mind or to speak out loud. Try both and do what works the best for you. Now let's enter into the match and see what can happen and how you will deal with every situation. First case, you make an unforced error trying to execute your match goals. For example, if your ball is out trying to play deep or if you make an unforced error trying to be aggressive. You're having the right intention, but your execution is wrong. What most of the players would tell themselves in this situation would be things like, I can't play today, I don't feel the ball or I keep missing. What you have to do in this situation is encourage yourself and give yourself a simple advice. Here's an example. This is the right game plan. Give yourself more margin. It's not necessary to go for the lines. Come on, keep going. It's gonna work. Of course, find the right words for that. Your own words. Second case, you make a mistake knowing that you did not follow your game goals. Then put yourself back on track immediately. Tell yourself what you would love to hear from your coach at that special moment. Or imagine that your best friend is doing the same mistake. What would you tell him to keep him motivated? Come on, follow your game plan. When you apply your strategy, it's working. That is the way to win the match. Come back at it right now. Third case, your opponent hits a winner. This one is also very frustrating. And especially when you feel that you haven't done the right thing, and you have let him dictate or have played too short. Instead of complaining about your inability with sentences like, I play so bad today, or this guy is playing unbelievable, praise him and focus on how to avoid this to happen again. Here's an example. Well done to him this time, but I won't let him do this again. Go back at it. Focus on your match goals. Fourth case, you struggle in a special area. Can be serve, can be return, can be your forehand or your backhand. The danger and very classic mistake in this case is to start to crystallize on a special shot and think that you can do it. When you do so, you focus on yourself instead of focusing on the game. Remember, you will win that match by applying the right strategy with all your dedication. If you focus on your problems, you won't focus on the game. The game will make you win, nothing else. Give yourself an advice, for example, put more spin in your serve, 
or move your position back to return and tell yourself that it's gonna work. Then refocus on your strategy and how you can put your opponent in trouble. Here's an example. You can do it. Your serve is good, just put more spin in it. You have much more than your serve anyway to win that match. He's missing his backhand. Keep the ball there until you get the short ball. Write down those notes in advance. Make sure you have an inner talk that is applying to every situation. Then play some practice matches using those sentences. Put the attitude with it and the emphasis. Once you perfectly master it, the time has come to use it during your matches. Keep the same technique, keep the same strategy, but improve your mental skills and you'll be a totally different player of a totally different level. It's not so much about the opponent showing the opponent or not, it's about what's happening inside yourself that will make you compete well or not compete well. If at some point you feel you need to explode and that it will help you come back into a positive mindset, just explode, it's not a problem. The thing that you should never do is just have this negative inner talk that builds an alien inside of you that's gonna take control of you and make you completely lose sight of the match, the strategy, your goals and everything. If you let this negativity build up inside yourself, you're gonna be only focused on your problems and not on the match that you have to win and how to win it. What strategy? What is my game plan? How, what am I good at? Where, what is my opponent weak at? This is what makes you win the match. If you start to focus on yourself, then you have no chance to win it. So the best thing to do is to control what you tell to yourself in order for you to feed positivity and build your confidence throughout the match rather than, in a way, destroying your confidence throughout the match. No, because you have the choice to tell yourself what you want. It's important to have a game plan. You have a game plan strategically speaking. You have a game plan also regarding your inner talk. Now, if you need to adapt it during the match, you feel you're a bit down, lacking energy, you can always talk to yourself to find this fire. There is always a way to speak to yourself that will make you a better player. I just want you to be in control of it rather than to let this inner talk control you. That's all the topic of this masterclass. It's safe to say that a big part of being good mentally is about being able to play well the most important points of the match. That's true. But that's not only that. That's also finding a way to play the best you can play every single day. Not being too affected by, by what's happening during the match. When you lose the points, when your opponent hits winners, most of the players, and at every level, are so affected by the circumstances so that they have a consequence on the quality of the tennis they play. There is a way, and that's one of the topics of this masterclass, to talk to yourself in a way that whatever happens, the good things or the bad things, you're always in the best mindset to play the best tennis you can and give yourself the biggest chance to win and stay focused on the strategy to win whatever happens during the match. Now, yes, a big part of the mental strength is about how to play the big points. When the big points come, there is a lot of stress coming up because you know it's a very important moment in the match. So of course, because you care, the stress level goes to another level. That's where the preparation is so important. Because if you put two players on the court, both of them know that this is a very important point. Now their confidence will make a big difference on how they will handle that stress. That's why it's so important to come to the matches, come to the tournaments, feeling ready, feeling prepared, feeling that you've done everything you had to do, feeling stronger because your training has made you feel stronger. There are moments during the match when you can lose your clarity. Moments of high pressure, important moments, also when your fitness is going down, you can lose it. And that's where it's even more important to have a framework, a very clear mental strategy on what 
you tell to yourself at every moment. You have to stay there. Your mental talk, your inner talk, is a way also to stay there when everything wants to take you out of it, wants to make you lose your clarity, wants to make you get angry, get frustrated, get stressed. That's why it's so important to have things that keep you there. And this is something you can control. If you want to see more tips, hit the follow button.